wanted to bring you a video due to a couple of requests and I wanted to bring you a video first off this is dealing with finances it's how to make money at home uh, without you know disrupting a school or a life schedule I understand that there are a lot of people out there a lot of parents who don't have a lot of time to dedicate to taking on a full-time job or a part-time job or another part-time job um, because parenthood alone can be one or students a lot of people don't have time to get a part-time job or another part-time job or a full-time job on top of their busy schedules. So I wanted to bring you a video just giving you three simple ideas of things that you can do from home to help earn a little bit more cash. And there are a lot of scams out there in life and on the internet that you should definitely avoid. This video isn't going to be about those, but um, there can be a lot of devious things that actually take your money as opposed to helping you get it. So I just wanted to talk to you about three ways you can quickly do a couple things to earn a little bit more cash that won't disrupt your schedule really, really dramatically. The first one is probably the most broad and it's selling a talent or a skill or an item that you have. Um, are you an amazing chef or do you grow vegetables or can you make homemade healthy organic dog and cat treats? You can put them at a farmer's market. Um, do you have a talent for web design or for creating art in some sort of form? Can you draw someone's portrait? Um, are you really crafty? Can you create, you know, custom do-it-yourself shorts and custom shirts and custom jewelry and fashion and things of that nature? Or can you create custom soaps or bath or beauty products? If you have any of these skills and you're able to create, you can start selling your stuff online. Um, Etsy is a great store to do so. Etsy is all handmade items. It's from jewelry to fashion to beauty. Um, a lot of cute stuff. If you do have a culinary talent, you can always reach out to local farmers markets. Um, and on weekends, take your time to sell items there. If you do have software or artistic things, you have the entire medium of online to market and sell your work work and art. And what's great is that usually when someone has a craft like that, it's more of a passion. You know, you probably didn't start creating cute do-it-yourself shorts just because you had to. You probably started for yourself because you enjoyed it. And if you can get paid to do what you enjoy, that's what makes a really happy job. So whether it's something you do just on its own, whether it's added to another job or added to a busy schedule, taking a talent or a craft that you have and putting that online is a great way to expose others to what you have to offer and also earn a little bit more money. Etsy is a great place to sell those items online. Um, eBay is another great place. eBay, you can even sell used stuff. It's kind of like a garage sale for your home. So if you have other ones, feel free to tell me in the comments what you would recommend as well. The second thing you can do is actually taking surveys online and sharing your opinion. What happens is that when a big brand has, you know, um, a certain demographic, they say, okay, well, we have this perfume and we want to know who likes it. What age are they? Where do they live? What kind of other things do they like? They usually go to a third party company and they say, hey, we want to know about these specific people and we want to know their answers to a couple certain questions or these are the things we want to know. And they together will put together a program which is a survey and it's a series of questions about you, about life, about what you enjoy, about what you don't like, about your preferences that help them to develop a better product to better suit their consumers. And most of the time you can get paid for actually taking these surveys. One of my favorites is Opinion Outpost, but you can search the web for these surveys, put in your information, and it's literally like filling out a Facebook profile of yourself and your likes and your dislikes and your interests and you're getting paid to do it. There are a ton of different survey monkeys and things out there that allow you to do that. Um, one of my favorites is Opinion Outpost because you can get cash if you would like to and I understand that certain ages can't do that because of you know, legal payment restrictions. So Opinion Outpost actually offers gift cards as well to Amazon or to other things. So if you can't get cash to a PayPal account or to a bank account, you can get gift cards sent to you. It's nice that you have the option of choosing gift cards or cash. You should also always make sure that the surveys are free. You should never have to give a credit card number. You should never have to pay money or put anything like that to do a survey. Opinion Outpost is a free one and a lot of the other ones are free, but know that if they are asking you for money, um, I personally wouldn't recommend it and it could be an internet scam. You could also enter contests or things like that. You know, like when you go to the mall and fill out the things for the cars. Um, I personally never really had luck with those, but Opinion Outpost, the survey company, actually gives away $10,000 every couple of months. Um, there are other programs online that can do that as well. So enrolling yourself in a couple of those, as long as it doesn't you know, burden you. As long as you're giving your email address and some information, you can get those offers and hopefully win either items or cash or things like that. 
Um, and you also want to find places that do this frequently. For instance, Opinion Outpost, I think, does it every four months. Um, and they're giving away $10,000. There's also King of the Web, which I think gives around $5,000 away every year or something like that. Um, and there's a lot of programs like that that you can enroll in and kind of get involved with. Regardless of which survey you choose, you want to make sure that it's one that you have a great community, you feel rewarded, and you're enjoying your time. So I will link Opinion Outpost and a couple of other things too down there. Just make sure that overall you're not paying to do any of these, that the company is actually paying you. The third and very last thing that you can do is actually sell brands that are already in existence through an affiliate program. Um, for me, I know a lot of the cosmetic brands because I'm kind of in the cosmetics industry, but there are definitely other brands as well that do commission-based sales. Um, I will discuss beauty here because that's what I know about best, but there are brands such as Mary Kay, such as Arbonne, such as Avon, um, such as Nerium, face skincare stuff that are actual brands that actually work, cosmetic brands that are great. And instead of just selling them in the mass markets, they actually have affiliate programs where people can sell them from their home. So what you should do is look for brands that you're interested in and brands that you actually enjoy the cosmetics of and that actually benefit you in your life, cosmetics that you wear that you enjoy and you love. You can sign up for these affiliate programs and um, sometimes you have people ahead of you kind of like mommies um, in like the beauty cosmetic affiliate industry and they can actually kind of take care of you and help you out. And what happens is that once they help you out and get you started, you can start selling cosmetics to people who need them and help people feel beautiful about themselves and get them the skincare that you need. On top of that, you're learning about the brand so you understand these cosmetics and why they work and how you can help other people with them. Also, once you do have a good base of sales, you can actually get people underneath you and become like a mommy, um, what do they call those, a mommy representative or whatever, and then the people underneath you can start selling the things the way you did, and then you get a commission off of what they sell. So let's say that I sell this glass for $10 and I get $5 worth of commission. Every single glass that I sell, I get $5. But if I have three people underneath me, every single glass that they sell, they get $5, but I get $2 because they're underneath me. So that means I don't even have to sell anything. I could just sit around, and because they're great cosmetics, they sell themselves. That's why you don't want to get with a bad cosmetics brand. You only want to get with one that you honestly believe and trust in. Um, I know a lot of people that just sign up for these affiliate programs because they want quick cash, but honestly, if you don't sign up with a beauty brand that you personally trust, it's not going to go anywhere because who wants to buy cosmetics or products that don't actually work? But let's say that they sell those, you get $2 per each person, so there's three people right there. You're getting $6 for not doing anything plus whatever you're selling, and then if they have people underneath them, you get a cut of that too. It's a great way to exercise your skills in sales, it's a great way to be involved in the cosmetics industry, and if you have a lot of people underneath you, you really don't have to work that hard to earn good cash, and you're still helping people in the long run. So those are just a couple ideas for you. I hope that this video is what you guys had requested. If you have anything else, feel free to let me know. I will link everything down to you right down there, and if you know of other websites that you've personally used, or if you have questions about, um, feel free to post them in the comments and that way you can help other people out and give them opportunities to earn some money at home as well. So, hope this helped you. I love you guys very much, and I cannot wait to talk to you on the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.